Well, this is definitely something you don't see every day. It appears to be some sort of trimaran kayak sailing setup. I'm not 100% sure what my man's got going on here, but welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions, and he's going to hit the ramp. Oh, man, I can't even get the introduction out. He's looking back. I don't think he even realizes he hit it. No, he's spinning tires. He has no clue why he's not moving. Bro, what are you doing? So he's going to pull forward, but that one's crazy. He never even realized. Oh, he's going to do it again. <laughs> he doesn't even know. He is literally just spinning tires. And oh my gosh, the stuff we see. But once again, guys, welcome back to the Miami Boat Ramps channel. Today, we are visiting Boyton. And, oh, God, I love being at Boynton. We see some of the wildest stuff here. Our guy, so he's getting out of the truck. I'm assuming he's going to inspect and kind of see what the heck was going on and try and figure out why he couldn't get it. I mean, like, he was just, he, dude had no clue. Like, I mean, he was literally spinning tires. No clue that front tire was hooked on the front. Oh, man, no. So he's taking off the sides of his little trimaran setup. I think he just gave up. I'm betting a million to one he's making this thing lighter so he can go ahead and pull this off the trailer. If he pulls this pontoon off, he is. He is. Oh man, he couldn't figure it out, so he literally is giving up. That's what's happening right here. He's gonna pull the other side off as well and walk this thing down. Oh man, that is just epic right there. And here comes our crew, and I can't tell what wifey's doing on the stern. Maybe she was looking for lines? But our guy's gonna go ahead and make his approach. And if you look in the background, you can tell today we do have a fairly strong wind and a fairly strong current. You can see the water's moving pretty good. But if you look in the back, you'll see the flag. It's actually cut out of the screen here now, but uh, it's moving pretty solid today. It's gonna give some of these captains fits as they come in and try and approach these docks. So he's trying to take the slow roll approach while wifey gets the lines ready. I don't know why. It feels like this one always happens to me as well. Now, as a captain, it's my fault. I probably should start the process earlier, but it feels like every time I pull up to the ramp, I'm like, hey, can you guys grab some lines and some fenders? And no matter how slow I go, I get to the ramp before anybody's got it ready. But that's my fault as a captain. I got to start that process sooner. And here we go. He's making his approach and things look pretty good. Probably wants to straighten that wheel out a little bit. Oh, he's still holding on that starboard turn. It's probably going to cause a little knock. Oh, a little banger to kind of get him started here. But, oh, oh, reach out and grab it, bro. And he's got it, but they don't have the line, but he almost lost the boat. So our crew has got this back down. You can tell the truck and the trailer are a little crooked. This over here on this side, things are a little complex right now. So we've got a heavy wind blowing across our screen. So going across the screen from the right to the left. So it's kind of blowing them into that dock, which is gonna make things a little tricky as he tries to approach this trailer. Typically, if you were doing that, you'd wanna try and approach the trailer a little bit from the right and let the wind push you back. But for those of you who are familiar with Boynton in these videos, there are rocks basically right in front of where that pole is that you see. That literally, if this was probably six inches lower on tide, you'd probably see the rock. So, Cap's backing out. Let's see how his approach is on this. Looks pretty good so far. But you can see that wind's grabbed him already, and this is where things are going to get a little tense because it's already trying to push him, and he's kind of lost it. He's going to have to reset this up. And once again, not faulting Cap. This is kind of a tough setup here. This is not the ramp I'd want to be on today. And a lot of boating is that. It's trying to set yourself up in a situation for success. Trying to pick the easiest situation you can. Uh, but he's coming in with a wild turn. Watch out for the rocks, bro. He is literally heading right for the rocks over there. Watch out. Oh, he hits the brakes because he knows it's wrong. I can't quite tell. I mean, he's on those rocks. I believe he probably hit them, but I just can't quite tell from this angle. I was looking for the bounce back, but he hit that brake, so it was tough to tell. 
and you can hear the wind in the background. We're too far away. We wouldn't hear it unless a prop scraped him. And he wasn't that far. So here we go. He's going to have to reset this up. And there you go. He let it kind of push him back across, but now he's going to... Oh, he's going to miss. So he's pushed against the left-hand side of the trailer now as that wind and current just caught him. Oh! A little heavy on the throttle hand. Trying to line it up, but it's still not the right lineup. He's going to probably have to back off and try and get this thing set back on. So here we go with the back off. He's going to try and get that bow over those center bunks. Careful, bro. And he might be all right this time. He looks like he's fairly centered. Give it a little power and power it on there. And I think he's good. But that, I mean, once again, he was right over those rocks. I'm probably 99% sure he hit them. But it's just, it was tough to tell from this angle. But he should be good to get this one out of here from here. And this can't make it any easier. So, <laughs> most of these guys struggle with a single jet ski trailer already. But having somebody sitting on top of the tailgate, basically blocking your view of what little bit of the jet ski you can see, can't help. And spinning his finger isn't probably helping either. But surprisingly, I was just as I'm about to open my mouth and say he doesn't look that bad, there we go. And we start to see the jackknife. So jackknifing it immediately again, he's going to have to bring it back. It's just strange that my man would choose this spot to sit. I mean, he's definitely blocking any rear view cameras my man has. And typically in a situation like this, you, you want to drop the tailgate to get the best view of the ski. And I mean, my man's just basically blocking it. I mean, he's getting pictures for the gram though. You know, we got to do the priorities here. Our guy, I'm not going to lie though, is actually doing pretty good. So the dude backing or chick, whoever it is backing this up, really is doing a pretty solid job for having their view blocked. And here we go. Now you've got to be careful. Watch out for the dock. So they're going to pull up and try and reset a little bit as the ski began to turn in. And he leans back, and I'm assuming, I mean, I just don't know why they're not telling him to get off. And it looks like we're kind of leaning back in toward the dock again. Oh! <laughs> Another reason you don't really want anybody back there. Once again, if he falls, last thing you want to do is have somebody fall off the vehicle while you're in reverse heading that direction. So he's going to bang on it because they're right there at the dock about to hit it again. So he's like, hey, bruh, you're going to have to reset this one more time. But let's see how our guy does now that there's nobody blocking the view. If he can get this thing fully set up and down the ramp. Turns back in. Looks okay so far. It's gonna be a little tight. Are they gonna get it in one shot now that we've removed the person who's blocking the view? I can't. I, I, they're probably a little off still. Just a little off. He's going to pull out one more time. I don't think we need to do the full pull out this time. If he just comes back a little bit, you should be able to get it this time. I've got faith, bro. You got it. And it starts with the right turn. We just got to get the Jeep back centered. And they're close to the dock, but I think they're going to be good. He's going to get this one in the water. And that should be it for them. They should be able to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where main and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.